perfectly okay as long as they're wise words. Okay. So I, yeah, I feel like saying I'm sorry. I've been such a disappointment. No, hang on, hang on. Don't, don't, don't go there yet. Hang but on. Wait, wait there. Things are, are, you know, getting but your out mom of control. Asked, I'm but not your mom sure asked, why. Your mom asked you a question, though. So yeah, try, I'm not try. sure what's happening. I'm really not sure. I just can't seem to to care enough. Everything is just too confusing, and I just just doesn't seem like. Now, what about I Ruth? What about this about moment? Your mom is understanding. Did your did you just feel a little less hopeless? Because you just looked like you, your energy level went up 30%. Do you notice that? Yeah, but I'm not sure she'll understand. Because I've well, tried tr before. Try her, try her. Telling her how things tell her. are hard and confusing. Tell her, and tell her, no, tell her. I, I just don't want to grow up. Ruth, Ruth, <laughs> Ruth. Look at your mom and, and explain to her what you're struggling with. You don't have to know. You don't have to understand it. Just explain what it feels like. Yeah, it feels like the world is just too much, and I just... Sometimes. Sometimes, and I just don't want... I just don't feel like I connect to it at all, and I don't feel like anything I would do would help, and I don't care about anything. I, oh. I care about you. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to see what mom can do. I'm ready to block her. She just did something very sweet. She touched her. That's that's a good sign. You know, I have the two parts of me. So one part of me, I can understand. I can remember being your age. Uh, and it scares me. I don't want you to feel so hopeless and like life is hopeless. And the other part of me is still with the old stuff, you know, like, but it's so easy. Just yeah, hang, hang on, hang on, but bite, bite, bite your tongue on that because it's, it's, at times it's easy, but at this time it's not. It's too hard. It's too hard. So just recognize that, you know, right. when it's winter, it's cold, and when it's summer, it's not, okay? And so she's cold now, and that's what matters. She'll maybe warm up again, but right now she's cold. What would help? Hmm. So now she's moving to problem solving, which notice Ruth is willing to talk about it now. Because I'm guessing, don't let me put words I, in your mouth, but are, are, is your arousal down? Because yeah. you, you're, you're pushing mom away. She won't understand. She can't understand. She's a big jerk. You stop doing that. I don't know if you meant to, but you stop doing that. So that tells me that if she says what would help, I'm not quite sure Ruth is ready for that, but if Ruth, Ruth didn't respond with, you don't understand, then, then maybe she's ready to move to problem solving. Problem solving is fine, but you can't problem solve if you're not understanding first. The understanding has to come first. And the validation is the communication of that understanding. Does that make sense? Okay. Makes sense to us. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Um, comments or questions that you have? How, how is this for you? Because I did a lot of blocking of you. But you st it still felt validating enough. It was good. Yeah, there has to be enough. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think it must be hard to be validating two people at the same time who are in conflict. It, it, do you think so? I, I, I don't think so because I think that they're they are not mutually exclusive. Each person has an experience that once we understand it, you know, mom is, I would guess, kind of scared. And her way of not feeling the fear is to just think this is not that big a deal. She can do it. Right? That's probably, and if we needed to, we could probably do a little more of mom's chain that got her there. Like, what's, what just happened? You just did it again. You just said, oh, this is just not, this isn't hard. You're forgetting that it is hard. What happens when you notice that it's hard? And I could help her manage that emotion, that fear. She probably got a lot of fear. But she, you know, you didn't, it didn't seem to need that right now. You seemed to be okay with it. So I, I kind of jumped over it. But we could do that. Okay. Is this helpful to see? The parents are much harder than that, you know. The parents are harder? Yeah, I... Well, be harder. I don't mind. I mean, I'm happy. You want to be harder? But she would say something like... I could be harder. It's not the same. She, it's not like skiing or it's not like... It's 
Come, 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 come on, Why? no, come on, no, no, seriously, I don't want it to be easy, K kick her out of her chair, come on. Yeah, there's a lot of heterogeneity, I mean, of course, I, we get a big range, yeah, we have a big range. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> I understand, yeah. Well, there are cultural differences, but there are also individual differences, too. I'm thinking that if we're here in the same room with the same kind of motivation, it's already a good sign. I mean, I'm thinking about, you know... Yeah, actually, the fact that come, you're both here... Care, who don't, uh, there's a lot of distance. And, and people who yeah. just can't talk or imagine even letting, letting the other in or telling. Right. right. Then, now, of course, in, in, this, in that kind of situation, I would spend time separately with each person to try to work on motivation, to try to work on finding the thread of motivation to improve the relationship the thing about their own goals and values in their life. That mom, people want their kids to have a good life. I think that's almost universally true. I have very occasionally found an exception to that, but it's very occasional, okay? 99% of parents want their children to have a good life. And um, so, but it might take some sessions for us to clear away some of the old stuff that's built up over the time, you know, to be able to be willing to say, of course I love my daughter, and of course I want her to have a good life, and of course I don't want to contribute to her suffering, of, you know, and actually without, lots of times, oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if this is true here, but um, many of our families have had one session of family therapy at some point and felt very blamed and they really don't want to come in for family therapy. That's about half of our families. And so we often spend a good chunk of time, a whole session around the transactional model and me using a lot of examples so that they can see that there's no blame in this. This is just, it makes it, their reactions come out of love, come out of wanting the child. I mean, even her reaction like this isn't a big deal is trying to get Ruth to cope in with skills that she thinks that Ruth has instead of getting stuck. But it, if that were going to work, it would have worked. She's tried that about as much as that's got, that she's run all the steam out of that one. So I could validate how that's a reasonable thing to do. And if she's got other kids, that might actually have worked with them. And it might even work with Ruth at a different time. But right now, that's not going to work. It's not enough, right? It's not, like I sometimes say, you know, if you have a flat tire, it's fine to change the tire. Most of us have a spare. But if you have two flats at a time, most of us don't have two spares. So it's not enough to change one tire. You need something else. And so you can't keep doing the same old thing if it's not working. You've got to, you can't change the one tire, put the flat in the trunk, and then take the flat out of the trunk and put it on the other flat. You've still got a flat tire. Okay. Does that, you see? So the, by the way, I think the metaphors help a lot mm -hmm. with families because there's, there's no blame in that. It's a perfectly sensible thing to do. It just doesn't work. They're both <laughs> true. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll have you come back for more of this later, but I think this is a good start. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go.